I'm from originally from a small town named La Jolla, means the jewel, and the population there uh, officially something like 3,000, but it's actually quite a bit, quite a bit larger than that. It's a real special place for me. I think I was the second person to go to medical school from uh, from La Jolla. There's a couple of students at our school right now from La Jolla, so I made it a point to try and get to know them. There's a lot of mentors that I've had throughout the years, and, and certainly um, my parents are probably the most important people that have influenced me. I went to the local college at that time called Pan American University. It's now the University of Texas Pan American. And uh, when I graduated, I got accepted to uh, UT Houston Medical School. Your fourth year of medical school is probably the nicest time of your life in medicine, to be honest. Uh, you get to take electives and rotations and those sorts of things. It's also probably the most uh, difficult one from the sense that now you have to make a decision that you're no longer going to be a student. You're now going to become a real doctor and you're going to have to treat patients and the responsibility is going to be on you. So you're applying for different programs to get into what we call an internship. I was fortunate enough to get into Little Rock and I spent the next two years in, in Little Rock at the University of Arkansas. My, my boss almost knocked my head off when I said I was a pediatrician interested in neurology. Uh, I think first and foremost, since most of my training is in neurology, I'm first a neurologist, then a pediatrician. My wife is actually from Mexico City. She moved from a city of 22 million people down to Little Rock, where there's 100,000 people. And it was a, you talk about a culture shock from the valley to Houston, it was more so for her. We have two children. Uh, almost eight-year-old and two-year-old. Our, our son is Pedro Jr. and our little girl is Mariana Isabel. He's very special. He's, uh, I think he has changed our lives in more ways than I can think of. Initially everything seemed perfectly normal and fine, but over time it became quite evident that he was different than other children. And over time uh, we realized that he had uh, autism. And so autism is a different, a very, very different problem to deal with. It has made me, I think, a better physician, a better neurologist, because I can, I can really relate to parents who say, well, I'm having this problem or that problem. The thing that makes it most rewarding to me is when you're able to make life just a little bit better for, for a child and, and for the parents. Uh, to have a kid come up to you and say thank you, it, it's, you know, there's no money, there's, no, there's nothing that can be given to you that can replace that. I think it would be impossible to not be a physician. I think even when I retire, I'll probably still do, you know, a community clinic or, or something like that. It's hard to take that doctor outside of you.